Hello everyone. In today's topic, we will cover how to enable dynamic DNS in GoDaddy. Public IP address of some home servers or AWS server changes whenever we restart the server. So we will see how we can automatically update the DNS record in GoDaddy if IP address of server changes. I have an AWS EC2 instance where I have hosted a simple website. Uh, you can see it here using the public IP address. So let's create a A-type DNS record in GoDaddy. Here we will choose the type as A. We can give any name to the host. That will be the subdomain. Then add the public IPv address. And make sure TTL value is list as possible if the IP address is highly dynamic. In GoDaddy minimum allowed value is, value is 600. Here you will see the record is created. Now we will try to access the website using our newly created record which is temporary.northandgupta.in. Now to proceed further, we need to create API key in our GoDaddy. So first login to developer.godaddy.com, then open API keys. Here you have to create new API key, give any name, select environment as per your requirement, then click next. Here you will find a key and a secret key. Copy and paste it somewhere so that we can use it later. Let's copy the secret key. Yeah. Once you click got it, you cannot find the secret key again. So make sure you are uh, taking it somewhere. I got it. You will see your record here. Now log into the server. Then open this GitHub uh, repository. Link will be in the description. Copy the clone website. And just type git space clone space the link if you do not have git in your server make sure you install it then go to godaddy dns directory under that you will find a script file and a property file so first we will make some changes in the properties file so open the properties file in the editor In the domain field, give your domain name. Mine is navratangupta.in. In the name field, give the subdomain, the one we created in the GoDaddy record. We had created temporary. Now in the TTL value, you have to give the time to live value, which we had created in the GoDaddy, that is 600. In key field, you have to give the value of keys which we had copied let me copy from there and paste it here yeah. now we will be copy and pasting secret key which we had already copied now let's save it Now we have to run the shell script. So we will be running it. Make sure you are giving the execute permission to the script if it is not already there. Then check the log. In log, we will see the status as OK. This shows that uh, the script is run properly and you will see the current DNS IP, that is the public IP which should be the similar, uh, which should be the same as which is the instance public IP address and then check the DNS name. 
this will be the same as our DNS name. We will be adding the cron jobs so that every time we reboot our instance, the script is run automatically and it should also check every 5 minutes if any IP address is changed or not. Copy these two lines from the github readme file which you can find in the same repository and edit the path of the directory. So we had cloned the repository in our home slash ubuntu so we'll be giving that value. The first line here makes sure in every 5 minutes the job checks if the IP address is changed or not and the second line checks at every reboot. Now we will be restarting our server so that IP address automatically changes. So let's stop it. We will try to access the URL again. We should not be able to access it as it's already stopped. See if it won't work. So now we will be starting our instance. Okay, enough. Let's start the instance now. Okay, before starting the instance, let's check. This is our old IP address, which it was uh, before we stopped. Now we will start the server. So click on instance state start let's see what is the new ip address yeah you can see here the new ip address is 52.66.180.48 let's see what is the ip address in the godaddy now so when we refresh we will see the new ip address here which is automatically updated yeah you can see it here See, the IP address is updated with the new IP address. Now we will try to access the URL. And you can see the URL we are still able to access. Yes. Now let's try to log into the server with our DNS. We should be able to log in. Temporary dot, yeah. Yeah, we are able to log in. So, this is for the today's video. Thank you very much. This is my first video so make sure to like and subscribe if you are interested in the Linux. Thank you.